Hello, we'd like to welcome you and your families to Archbishop Hoban High School's Spring Open House. We hope that this virtual option will be an extremely informative experience. Our view book, a link to our virtual tour, and this recording will be shared with you via email, on Facebook, and on our admissions website, hoban.org forward slash admissions. Today, you'll be hearing about Hoban from our leadership perspective on the following topics, our Holy Cross tradition, the state of the school, student engagement and in academics, and the admissions and financial aid process. At this time, I would like to introduce our interim president, Brother James Spooner, who will conduct the opening prayer, provide more information about the Brothers of Holy Cross and the state of the school. Good afternoon. Welcome to this virtual open house. We begin this as we begin all things with a prayer, knowing we are always in the presence of a loving God and begin in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to learn of the educational opportunities at Archbishop Hoban High School, a school sponsored by the Brothers of Holy Cross. We are grateful for the almost 70 years of education of Holy High School students at Hoban, the graduates who have taken their gifts and talents throughout the United States and the world, helping to make God known, loved, and served, and our current women and men developing skills which will serve them for the rest of their lives. Lord, be with the students and families in this discernment today, seeking the best possible education and environment which will nourish their hearts and minds. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Archbishop Hoban High School was begun in 1953, but in many ways, we take our history back to the 1800s. A small, generally rural parish in France needed teachers for their children and the education in the faith. So two priests saw those needs and they made plans to help. The first was Father Jacques Dujarrier, who focused on education. He brings together a group of women to teach the girls and men to teach the boys. And each group is interested in serving and would become a religious community. The first founded is the Sisters of Providence, who would organize those schools for girls. Then the Brothers of St. Joseph are founded for the education of the boys. Father Dujari teaches them as, as, as teachers and as catechists with the help of others, then sends them out sometimes alone, sometimes in twos or threes, depending on what the parish could afford. The second priest is Father Basil Moreau, he organized a group of auxiliary priests to preach missions to educate people in the faith. Well, over the years, Father Dujari becomes ill and he asks Father Moreau to continue the development of the brothers. After several years, the two groups are merged into what would become the Congregation of Holy Cross, named after the town in which they were founded, Saint Croix, Holy Cross, France. From a humble beginning with Father Dujarier for brothers and Father Moreau for priests to today, Holy Cross now serves throughout France, the United States, Canada, a total of 18 countries, often in the poorest areas of the world. Today, Archbishop Hoban High School continues to educate the hearts and minds of students in that spirit of Blessed Basil Moreau and, the, and Father Dujarier with core values of the Congregation of Holy Cross. Now I invite Dr. Emily Ramos, our principal, to speak about the educational opportunities at Archbishop Hoban. Thank you, Brother thank you. James. I wanna take the opportunity to echo the welcome of others and thank you for joining us this evening. When you come to Hoban, you'll find a warm and welcoming community. We have students who are involved in a variety of opportunities, students who get engaged in esports, drama, athletics, science Olympiad, mock trial, just to name a few. And my job as principal is to ensure that magic happens each day. Um, but it's our dedicated faculty and staff who do those amazing things. It is my privilege to see the Holy Cross values, integrity, inclusiveness, family, that have been mentioned infused into each classroom. And I see our students being challenged and engaged with content and critical thinking 
for a world that we don't know quite what we're stepping into. It's through the lens of our Holy Cross core values that we work on ensuring our students have the information through academics and the formation of faith so they might be transformed citizens. When you come to Hoban, you'll find a really strong academic program. We have college prep courses inclusive to all students. And so what that means is your child would come to Hoban and really have an academic program that gets tailored to each student's strength and support some of their areas they need a little help and uh, growth in. They can take different levels of math, English, and the world languages. Each summer, kind of early June, we offer uh, testing to fine tune the placement that uh, we use from the high school placement test that students take in the fall. And our students aren't locked into a particular academic track. Like most students, they sometimes take a little bit to find their rhythm and their groove. And so they can move up to honors classes or CCP or AP classes if they find their groove. We offer AP dual credit and CCP courses for our students who are interested in earning college credit prior to graduating from Hoban. That's a total of uh, 27 opportunities for students to earn those college credits in those various pathways. And with colleges, we have partnerships with Walsh University, Kent State, Akron, Stark State, and the University of St. Louis. If your son or daughter is interested in those opportunities, I would suggest having those conversations early with their uh, guidance counselor kind of fall of freshman year so you can plan your coursework accordingly. Over the years, we're really blessed to have students succeed on the national merit um, exam. And so this year we've had three national merit semifinalists. And in the last five years, we've had over 50 students receive national merit semifinalists, finalists, or commended student status, which is the highest number in the area. For students who do struggle a little bit in their classes, we are a John Peterson school. So if your son or daughter qualifies for a John Peterson scholarship, please let us know and we will have those conversations. But we also provide a tutoring center with licensed teachers who work with students in their study halls and before and after school for additional support. As Cheryl mentioned at the start of the presentation, we have a lot of engaging opportunities for students. We have um, a model UN who travels locally and to Washington DC for competitions. Archeology span program that does digs not only here on uh, Hoban's campus and in the Akron area, but they also travel to Jamestown, Mount Vernon and um, a few other spaces. In fact, a few years ago, our students, high school students discovered a 6,000 year old ax while digging at Mount Vernon. We have an art career field experience where our students interact with local and national artists and museum curators to understand what does it mean to be a working artist. And a pre-engineering three program, which involves a semester long internship, really doing hands-on opportunities related to engineering. We have an innovation center, which you'll see through our virtual tour which is an area designed for science, technology, math, and uh, engineering, where students can go in and tinker and learn and play with the 3D printers and design equipment. These are great collaborative spaces for our students, not only to work on classroom projects, but also things like Science Olympiad and just wanting to make something and design something on their own. We're finishing up a renovation for our Create Art Studios, which is an integrated digital and studio art facility that will be open in the fall. All Hoban students have lots of opportunities to develop as faith-based um, young adults. Our students are asked to participate in annual service hour requirements. And we're pleased to say that each year we have over 20,000 hours of service completed in the community for our, uh, by our students. Students have weekly opportunities to attend tutoring at local schools or feed the homeless in Akron. We allow students to go on alternative spring breaks to do community service in Austin, New Orleans, Sarasota. We have students who accelerate in our Spanish world language programs travel to Honduras with a medical mission trip through one of our local parishes. 
and a variety of other local opportunities through our summer program, JAM. Our students participate annually in retreats, not only as grade level, but through a SPES Unica three-day retreat for juniors and seniors, which is based on our Holy Cross core values. And each quarter they're asked to participate in spiritual engagement opportunities. Again, it's these, this faith foundation that will last our students a lifetime. All the clubs that we've mentioned um, previously, Mock Trial, Academic Challenge, Science Olympiad, um, are great places for students to get engaged outside of the classroom. We have Spanish club, French club, Italian club, chess club, a black student union to name a few. And obviously we also have a lot of really strong athletic programs, 27 sports over three seasons and about 75% of our students are involved in athletics and 80% of those student athletes make the honor roll each year. So they really define what it means to be an engaged student athlete. Our goal at Hoban is to create well-rounded young adults through a partnership with you as parents. And that is built on the academic program we have, our co-curricular and our athletics. And you might ask, where does that leave a student at the end of four years? Well, last year, our students had $27 million worth of college scholarship opportunities presented through all of those opportunities that they had while at Hoban and their academic progress. So we're really proud of where our graduates go and what they achieve once they leave our building. So I hope you enjoy the rest of the tour today. Our emails, phone calls are always available if you have questions and I'll pass it over to Ms. Cheryl Kroon. Hello, thanks so much. Uh, Brother James and Dr. Ramos, I really appreciate those insights about our academics and student engagement. Um, Hoban also puts value um, on an affordability at the forefront as we consider families for scholarships and financial aid. You can take a look at our admissions um, website. We have a page called Affording Hoban. That's an interesting page to look at to see um, how, you, how we do make that, op uh, that option for our students and our families. So for financial assistance, we offer need-based uh, tuition assistance. We have scholarships and grants, and we also have a work-study program. Again, this information is on our admissions webpage, hoban.org forward slash admissions. And we use the Hoban application for the, um, not only for admission, but also for scholarship consideration. And that application is due December 1st. With our tuition-based assist, need-based assistance, we use the FACTS application, F-A-C-T-S. That particular application um, is also listed on our website, and you'll see where those particular, um, those particular um, options and requirements are listed there. For our scholarships and grants, we have an incredible alumni base. They provide endowed scholarships to our students. So that's one way that we do try to prov provide affordability here is with those endowed merit scholarships. We also have a placement test and that placement test, if students earn um, a 90 or higher on the exam, then they are offered a placement test scholarship. And each year we have about 30 students that score in those ranges. There are grants available. We have a family grant, so if a student and their siblings are coming to Hoban. The first student gets $750. The second student gets $1,200. So we can definitely help make it an affordable option for our families. And then with the work study program, parents and students are able to work on campus in, variety, in a variety of uh, departments, our concession stands, et cetera. And students can earn, families can earn um, funding that will be reduced from their tuition each, each year. So those are some options with the financial aid. With regards to our admissions process, that's going to start with the uh, Hoban application. So again, as, that, as I mentioned that December 1st deadline, you're going to fill out the Hoban application. It is gonna help you with admissions as well as scholarship consideration. And that is located on our website, hoban.org forward slash admissions. As our leadership team has noted, we really want to build a true partnership between you, our families, and our school. We're a community that appreciates the time, 
the sacrifice and the investment that you've already made in your student. And excellence and mission are instilled throughout everything we do at Hobit, as you've heard from Brother James and from Dr. Ramos. We thank you so much for entrusting us and we look forward to assisting you throughout the admissions and application enrollment process. Thank you so much for, looking for, for joining us today. We look forward to helping you make a smooth transition. Uh, remember, we will follow up with a uh, virtual tour, with a view book, as well as information. If you have any questions, you can send them to admissions at hoban.org, admissions with an S at hoban.org. Again, thank you so much for your time today. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out. We're here to, to assist. Thank you again.